Welcome back to the channel, guys, where we take this to print all these to create that. Now this week, Rebels, we've made a ton of progress here. I've got all the pieces for the main body printed up and ready to go. Now we're gonna go over the good, the bad, and everything in between when it comes to printing these pieces. Then we're gonna do a dry fit and see how this bad boy is shaping up. Let's get to it. Moving right along, Rebels, for these prints, I used, surprise, surprise, my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. X1 Carbon is the only printer I have, but Bamboo has been absolutely phenomenal for me. Layer height is typical 0.2 millimeters, pretty standard for Bamboo. Print speed is just our standard print speed, nothing crazy. I'm not doing ludicrous speed or anything like that. Infill is set from anywhere to 10% to 20% on these pieces. This is this main body is where a lot of the structural components meet together, but it's also a very big main body, obviously. I don't want it to have a whole ton of weight uh, resting on those structural components. So I want it to be strong, but I don't want it to be super heavy either. So I did not go below that four wall threshold, so that 1.6 millimeter wall thickness. first few prints you can see here on circular items printers do have an issue here this is all sandable not a big deal we'll get it taken care of hey guys how's it going hey so just getting some sanding done here but I just wanted to stop in and remind you guys that piece by piece we are getting this droidica finished now if you're as, as excited about this project as I am be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell for notifications so you stay up to date on this project and all my future crazy projects. Um, and let's keep this momentum going. I gotta get back to sanding now. I get a lot of comments saying that these prints are like almost too perfect and how do I get my prints so good? Now the camera does hide a lot of little crimes but as you can see here this slope my printer is having a major issue with it. Down in the comments please let me know if you've had this issue and what you've done to actually remedy this because I have not been able to fix it even with uh, what's it called again the uh, adaptive layering and everything you can see there's a crease there. Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments. I really want to hear from you guys on this issue. Now here as well, we have all of our small little greebly pieces. These are a bunch of the levers and uh, really cool details that go on the front within the body. We are not going to be putting these actually on this week as a dry fit. There's just so much to it right now that I can't get it all done. But here's another piece I wanted to show you guys. So as you can see, a dome piece has a little bit of that banding and layering problem. I know I could lower my uh, my layer height 
and uh, fix a lot of this problem, but it's really not a big enough problem for me to worry about it. For the extra filament it takes to do it, not a big deal. This is one I tried messing with some settings. It definitely helped, but not really worth it in my opinion for what I gotta do. And now time for my favorite part of every week. That's the bell to get this all dry fitted and get a little bit of a sneak peek as to what this main body is gonna look like when it's all put together. All right, let's get to it. for the spine because I actually went on and printed the spine as well uh, I know overachieving this week wow but um, anyway guys um, I might have to reprint at least one half of this it might be hard to tell but I'm holding this as flush as I possibly can this one seems to be nice and flat this one seems to have warped right at the very edge it's hard to tell on camera but there you might be able to actually tell pretty well so yeah, I'll see if I can salvage it, but I might just have to reprint this, which is unfortunate, but it's kind of the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And that's it for this week, Rebels. If you enjoyed this week's progress, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you always stay in the know on this build and all of our future ridiculous builds here on the channel as well. In the meantime, Rebels, stay dreaming, stay building, and please always remember, rebellions are built on creativity. Mm -hmm.